Throughout my 34 years, my perspective has changed more times than I care to admit. And though it might not be very profound to date, the best insight I have to offer on life at large is this. The world is a wonderful place. I believe that. I really do. Still, I would be remiss if I didn't add at least a few caveats to that loaded statement. First, let me say that while absolutely wonderful, love is markedly overrated. If we're being honest with ourselves, the human condition and experience are shaped by much more influential forces. In short, I agree with Orwell. In the grand scheme of human affairs, capital is of greater import than any emotion, including love. Please do not misunderstand. I am by no means placing mere wealth above love. Quite the reverse, actually. It's the absence of wealth that deserves our reverence. Love will not free us from the shackles of poverty. It will not feed us. It will not clothe us. It will not deliver shelter or warmth. It will not provide for those we love. It can, and often does, however, put an end to it. Second, because of its unpleasantness, too many of us ignore the profound effects of war. Our borders, and subsequently the environments in which we live and love, owe their very existence to the practice. One of the most prolific dispensers of pain and misery on our planet has a great deal of power over our ability and even our capacity for the emotion. Born of love as well as hatred, war spreads each in equal measure, evoking pride and adoration alongside intolerance and unspeakable cruelty. Nations have collapsed under its pressure, entire generations snuffed out in its wake. All too often, at the root of conflict itself, love inevitably fails as its cure. Lastly, I would like to posit a question for those sentimentalist believers, the adherents of love. Isn't it a wash? Don't the equal parts, pain and joy, dispensed by the emotion, render it a nullity? Perhaps the answer to this question is best summarized by the fantasist Harlan Ellison. In his book, Pain, God, and Other Delusions, Ellison posits this unconventional truth. I know that pain is the most important thing in the universes, greater than survival, greater than love, greater even than the beauty it brings about. For without pain, there can be no pleasure. Without sadness, there can be no happiness. Without misery, there can be no beauty. And without these, life is endless, hopeless, doomed, and damned. Adult. You have become adult. This, I believe.